Chuck Jr. here, welcoming you back to Super Mario World. And guess what? There's a little, tiny little difference. D do you see it? Do you see it? Do you see it? Well, I'll tell you the difference. It's my webcam. <gasps> yep, that's right, guys. I do not have a new webcam. I am actually saving my webcam as a separate file so I can move it all around like this. Oh, look, I'm over here, and oh, look, now I'm over here, and oh, look, I'm right in your face now. So, um, yeah, if you notice, if you notice something, we're, we are back at Cheese Bridge Area. And that is because, well, I, uh, I forgot to save my progress. But that's okay because all of this doohickiness will be cut out. But before I go do that, I actually want to um, show you guys um, a bunch of secret exits that I missed because I did not complete the donut planes. <gasps> yes, everybody get your shock in now because I missed not one, but two secret exits. Do you see this number? Anyway, guys, I plan on um, doing this in great fashion. So I am a good person, and I will do this correctly. All right, guys. Well, the first secret exit I want to get is God did it with the cape feather, but I don't have. I don't. God did it the cape feather. So. I guess I'll have to go and get the other one first. And believe it or not, this one leads to the Green Switch Palace. Oh my goodness! So yeah, that one switch that we were missing like for like uh, eight years. Uh, eight years is what I said. Don't wear it out. Uh, we're finally gonna get that, so. And don't mind me, I did a little bit of research. Now, do you want to know how I figured out, or why I decided to look up about these missing secret exits? Well, you see, I went to this amazing thing called Retro Gaming Expo at a museum about old stuff that I've never learned about before. It's pretty great! And, well, I've maybe some of it, but yeah. Um, anyway, it was pretty great. I played games like regular Mario Bros, uh, Superman 64, you know, games I don't have, like, um, but seriously, seriously, I did go to the, uh, that Retro Gaming Expo thing, and, oh my god, it's great. So, wait, um, before I actually continue telling the story, you want to get to this part with the two orange pipes, and then you want to go up the green pipe, or the green pipe, the next green pipe, there we go. And, um, there's actually two secrets in this level, I think. No, wait, no, no, there's not, there's not. So you get in here, you hit this thing, and you get a mushroom. I know what you want to do. Is you want to not get hit. And you want to go... I mean, you could technically... You, you could either use the Koopa shell, or you could just... You could be a boss like me and fly. Yeah, basically another way you can do that is you can go down here. Don't hit the Koopa shell. You want to grab the Koopa shell. And you want to go up. You shoot it up, and then you get a mushroom. We have a cape feather now, which is what I need to get the next secret exit. And the next secret exit, it is a tricky one. So, but we got the green switch palace. No, 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 no. We're not getting game. No, we're not getting a game over. Nope, I'm doing this. All right, guys. So the next secret exit you want to get is actually right at the beginning of this level. What you want to do is go. You want to wait for all these stupid ghosts to get out of your way. Okay. False alarm, we're going to the Green Switch Palace. Um, before we enter, I do actually want to keep telling you about this Retro Gaming Expo thing, because it was great. I played some, I played some E.T. on Atari. It was terrible. I, I, I played so many things. I even got to play the actual game Super Mario World, and I actually played some, I actually played some of the last levels, believe it or not. And, um, yeah, I played levels like World Bowser three and four and I played on Larry's castle. I couldn't beat Larry's castle, but I did actually beat some of the other levels. And I was looking around the map and I saw that they got um 
a secret exit in this world uh, that I didn't get. And I was like, oh, I should probably look up all secret exits then. I didn't look up, up, up them all, but I did actually look up the Green Switch Palace in here. So we're just gonna go into the Green Switch Palace. And we're gonna, okay. We got some Sasakoopas in here. Duh, I don't like Sasakoopa. I was assuming I was supposed to throw this and get a one-up. Seriously, what the heck is going on? Where is he? Uh, no, that's not fair! 
here! He's not even- He's nowhere! Oh, that actually scared me. He's... He's a cheater. He's a cheater. He's a cheater. He is a cheater. into the forest of faces. <laughs> Guys, the gimmick of this world is that the only way to beat it is to get a secret exit. Same for the next world, but... Alright, so we're going in the forest of illusion! I feel like 
I haven't, I feel like I, I'm acting like I never get points. I always get points, right? Right, guys? Okay. Okay, I don't know why the path has, it takes so long. And then we got, okay, just look at this one. We got trees with faces. And then we got cupcake trees with faces. What is my life right now? Well, if you haven't known, if you didn't know already, this is, I'm at the level that is to the blue switch. So. We're gonna get to the blue switch. We're gonna unlock two. Switches this episode. We're just going to assume that nothing just happened there, and we're just gonna move on with our lives, okay? Yoshi, you, you're just holding me back! You're holding me back, Yoshi, you're slowing me down. That, that's what you're doing. Uh, topper. Bottom is always seen as a It's always the harder pass. So you got purple stalker fish chasing you with stuff that for some reason everybody as a kid was scared of. It's probably the middle path. It is. It's, it's the middle path. Because everything's the middle path! <laughs> this level hates me. Just look at it. Look at this level! And look at its big, mean eyebrows that it's wearing. I, I hope I can edit that in because that would be really cool. Big me. Okay. This is obviously more. Oh, we got the blue switch! We got the blue switch! We got the blue switch! You can't see me! Cause I'm, cause I'm insane, Asina! Wait, which piece? Which is it? <laughs> I don't know. I want to see. What does this one even do? Does it turn them into other blocks? It turns them into gray coins. I want gray coins. Oh, they can actually give you an extra life. I collect them all. God, I love you, B Switch. I, I mean, uh, um, uh, Eep Switch. I mean, it kind of needs a backwards name. So. Eh! Oh, the Switch Palace, Mamushka! The power of the Switch. You have turned will turn into eh. Your progress will also be saved. Eh! I am so sorry. I am sorry for my not human beingish ways. Purple fish, purple fish, no purple fish, purple, purple fish. Ah! Oh, I got a life! Me? I got a life? Oh yeah, I got a life. Rock on, dude, yeah, extra life! Extra life for days! Castle, it's fine. I would 
would this work if this was a real house? How would this work? It would. It simply just wouldn't, and you could actually get out of the map on this one, I guess. No! <sighs> I actually got past. This ghost house is gonna piss me off, and I already know. to get on top that's obviously not the right way to go. Oh, and that's obviously what you're supposed to do as an enemy. You're just supposed to appear in random areas that you can't do. Can't do. I almost died like a myth! <laughs> this level hates me! I already see it! I already see this level hating me so much that I hate it back. Okay, I guess I have to go into the door. Puts me in here. This random room. Yes, it's a ghostly mushroom. I, can, I love ghostly mushrooms. Yes, it's a non-ghostly cake feather that will probably be like a mushroom. No, it doesn't. Okay. I can use a cake feather in this level. Oh my god! There are so many ghosts after me. My little Mario dude. Be free, my little Mario dude! Now get on top of here and just run. Run for your life! We lose! We lose! I'm doing it all again! Hi. How we doing? How would it feel if I just did my videos like this? Hello! Well, guys, it's so sad to say, but the episode has come to an end. This may be a shorter episode. But I mean, come on! All my episodes are like 20, 30 minutes long. Like, you see this? This is my entire episode. Just a huge mash of like nothing. It's just me saying like, ah! and, uh, and, uh, and uh. So, um, yeah, I'll catch you!